For lesson seven, we are going to be looking at how to put our scene into augmented reality mode or using the AR tool in the top right hand corner. It can be a little bit confusing to start off with, but I'll give you three easy tips so that you can get your scene working in the real world easily. The first thing to do is put Reality Composer into play mode and test out your scene, making sure your scene does what you want it to do in the real world. Now to put your scene into augmented reality mode, first find an anchor that you can put your scene to or attach your scene to. So this is a horizontal anchor. So we'll need to find a tabletop or a floor. The first tip is to make sure that you have enough light where you're going to place this scene. So if I'm going to use a tabletop, I need to make sure that the table is well lit. Sunlight is the best. Sometimes, even when you think you have enough sunlight, it still can be a little bit dark. So something like a small table lamp can provide just that little bit of extra light. All right, let's put this into augmented reality by tapping on AR in the top right hand corner. Find your surface and place your scene. Now you'll notice that there is a grid there. When we put this into play mode, the grid will go away. If at any time you feel like you've lost your scene or you can't find it, simply double tap on the screen to reposition your scene. You can also pinch to zoom out to make it smaller and resize. Let's put it into play mode. Tap on play and watch the scene perform the behavior. You can also resize your objects in AR mode. Tap on your object and you can scale it up. You can also move objects in AR mode by using the arrows to move their position. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to change the angle when we're in AR mode. Use two fingers to pinch and zoom around the scene and try to change the angle that your scene is being viewed at or change the angle of your iPad. Sometimes it can be a little bit of trial and error, moving back and forth between AR mode and editing mode and changing the behaviors to make sure your scene is working. We can see that our square is probably sitting underneath where we want it to be on our anchor. So we need to move that up by using our arrows to move it and then going back into AR mode and testing this out and making sure it sits where we want it to sit within the scene. This is really good for students to problem solve through the trial and error and work out what is working and what isn't working. Have a lot of fun exploring AR mode and adding in different objects. Move your iPad around the scene and on top of the scene and see what happens. Oi, 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 oi,